Welcome Taurus. This is going to be your love reading for December. Hope everybody is doing well. All right. So with the moon, it does represent intuition and uh, the unknown. What's happening behind the scenes. More of mystery. We have the nine of wands, but there is still a test of perseverance, a test of strength here during this time. And we have the Five of Wands. Something does feel very challenging here with that Five of Wands energy, feeling frustrated. But what's beautiful is, is that something is advancing in your life, okay? There's a lot of recognition coming in. Uh, the overall energy is success. So let's go ahead and see what is going on here, Taurus. All right, so this is all about new beginnings here in your energy, and we do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. There has been a lot of either trauma that has happened in your life, heartbreak, lots of grief. This is the challenge. There's a sense of, of hurt. Okay, let's get more into this. There's a lot of truth coming out regarding this when it comes to moving forward overcoming losses overcoming certain things in your life that could be even finances things that i feel like you probably had to pick yourself up a lot here is a new beginning let's clarify this is really interesting because we do have this King of Cups energy, which is just, you know, how this person's thinking. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse, you guys. Hermit. Oh, Taurus. What is this beautiful energy? This is you starting this passionate new beginning, either with family, with love. There's there's something here within a, a spark, okay? So with the this is important because this is your energy. The Ace of Wands is fresh energy, exciting energy. This is about being passionate about life and something new coming in okay so it's venturing out coming out of your comfort zone you know going into things that you're not so familiar with right this is really trusting your instincts and your desires and it's leading to this beautiful ten of pentacles energy which is a beautiful sign about accomplishments and successful outcomes as in your home your family potential long-term relationships so this is a lot of promised success coming in your energy we also have the two of cups and the ace of cups so what's interesting strong connection strong connections around you now someone here though i don't know who this is why they're here but it feels like they're spying they're wanting more information we have this king of cups cancer scorpio pisces in the past we do have that that ace of, of of wands here in the past too someone is very stuck on you here taurus very much stuck on you here Ooh, gemini libra aquarius but i feel is that they are really i don't know there's an ending here this person is very they're coming off with that king of cups and the king of cups in the reverse is all about uh, this person l losing kind of control of their emotions. They're feeling powerless. They're feeling triggered uh, in some type of way. And they have a hard time expressing or managing their emotions. They can come up very emotionally manipulative and pretty hurtful. And I feel like this person, whoever this is, are thinking very um, stuck. I, don't, I know that something big is happening for you here in your energy, but something is a challenge here about moving forward. And I do feel that a lot of you guys have picked yourself up here with that five of pentacles and getting yourself back on your feet. And I feel like here with that 10 of pentacles, you're doing something here. It's beautiful. There's a lot of long-term 
things happening for you that's a long-term stability okay that's important stability and whoever this may be they're being strategic they're being manipulative in some way there's a, a sense of unhappiness here but they're still curious they're still wanting to see what you're doing whoever this is okay something here is a huge blessing for you coming in taurus we have the sun in the near future and the page of pentacles something here is a hard choice there's like some hard truth here about what you've gone through uh the people around you like kind of finding out that people weren't who they were like who they said they were so i feel like whatever's coming to you is definitely deserved and make and will make other people feel uncomfortable because these energies have something with you about you like they are just triggered by your success about your future about you moving about your strength about everything here just moving towards this ten of pentacles you're getting very big blessings nothing is knocking you down here taurus somebody here though with this king of swords man they are just operating from a very hurtful temperamental place and i feel like they're just very with that page of wands just feeling unmotivated within themselves they don't really like who they are so they're not really happy with where other people they're coming up as a page and reversed energy so it's very crazy to see but your, your hard work is paying off and there's new things happening for you, big things, and there's energies around you. Oh man, that is tough. And that's why I feel like, you know what, Taurus, there's a new beginning here, a very big new beginning. And I feel here with this King of Swords energy, you may have ended it with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and going on to a new connection. Somebody is still very much curious. I feel you're not even really paying attention to whoever this is, but you're going towards something. And I feel like th this message, what's coming up in the near future, is you recovering from a lot of crap. You have a lot of personal growth from everyone that has encountered your life there's an awakening to brighter days ahead after feeling stuck after feeling like some type of fear and uncertainty and just challenges you know left and right front to back just challenges everywhere for you and I feel like you're having this beautiful successful promised ten of pentacles which is again long-term wealth abundance coming your way which is definitely needed so this is like the sun is saying hey there's there's a lot of healing here but you're at the 10 so what meet what that means is is that this is a time of acceptance and knowing that you deserve that everything is coming towards you so many things feel like they were against you here Taurus and I feel where this is leading in the outcome is that there's a sense of truth and you facing problems head-on being true to yourself and others lots of cl clarity and new discovery coming in um, and I feel that with whoever, whatever this page of pentacles is, there may have been things that did not follow through, but it's making other decisions for yourself. Okay. This is a, a total independent energy. And I feel that you are getting everything that you desire here, Taurus. This is absolutely beautiful. F a lot of, it was a frustrating time. It's like you go from things testing you all the time and you're constantly persevering and it's just so frustrating and like what do i need to do and there's clarity coming in to help you move forward continue to operate in that pure heart of yours and continue to do that because the five of pentacles is picking yourself up even though the five of pentacles yes it's 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 um it's kind of like a it could come off as like a one like so it feels very one-sided very lonely um just feeling like left out in the cold right that's your whole energy but nothing is holding you back this is you getting that shift that, that perspective like you cannot be defeated okay in life and your energy is absolutely beautiful as you start letting go of people like that do not align with your energy here taurus 
Okay. Wow. So crazy. There's that card, the six of wands once again. I feel like the star is here, uh, mostly why the star is here in the reverse. You know, this is about, you know, losing faith, lack of faith. It feels like a, a, a disconnection with, with something here. But there's light coming and no longer living in the dark. And there's a very powerful, divine, inter not intervention, um, uh, just being very, div you're a very divine being. Okay, so something is happening where it needs your faith. And I feel that that's where the victory is coming in. So yes, you are seeing very, very clearly here, especially um, in the near future, but there is some endings and I feel it's to bring these brighter days ahead. A lot of you guys and these false promises or broken promises, you're seeing the truth. And this is what I feel is helps you start planning for your future. I feel you are planning. It's just the uncertainty of it. Okay. So this is a, a, an energy that does not give up. I don't know what is going on, but this is absolutely beautiful to see this so much. This is family, everything. What a beautiful reading. Just these energies though, these other ones. Woof. All right, so this is more about how that what's not told, like what this person isn't telling you. But we do have, I'm afraid of commitment. Finances are a problem. I tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. And ego, it's easier to block everything out right now. I'd rather ignore my emotions. I feel like I ruined everything. Whoever this energy is, I feel like they just cannot win. You know, like they cannot, they cannot, um, what is that? They're at the, whoever this may be who does, who keeps maybe going back and forth or being manipulative or just being kind of like that envy person who's staring and watching you. I feel that has everything to do with their ego and everything to do with themselves because this has, they may not be at a good place in their life. And that's what I feel. When people are act like that or people are, you know, very envious of others or it's hard to clap and be at, genuinely happy for others, that's because they're unhappy with their life. There's a lot of reasons for that. And um, I do see is that it's just, that can be many, you know, that can be many of many reasons, one of many reasons for that. But I feel like there is a person here who has, you know, some issues, some battle, a war within themselves, right? Oh, they're, and I feel like you are getting, yep, see, it's coming, you guys, whatever, I don't know what's coming, but it's coming. And it's at 10 of Pentacles. I mean, who doesn't want the 10 of Pentacles in their energy? That is absolutely so beautiful. Okay. I'm going to stop talking, talking now. Soul awakening. This is your overall message here. You are, you are quite irresistible when your mind and heart pulse in the same rhythm. Why do you spend your days fighting yourself? You have better things to do. It's coming. Hope is on the horizon. In the face of challenges, remember that nothing lasts forever. Trust that the universe has good things in store for you. No pressure. When you want more, don't push yourself or others to get more. Give more of your pure, genuine self and life will immediately and effortlessly match it. I literally love this reading for you and I hope that this reading has helped and brought clarity but I am going to go ahead and leave this right here for you guys. Something great is coming for you and I'm so excited for you guys Taurus so um, I will see you guys for your next reading. God bless.